All right, so there's these two lobsters in a frying pan. One lobster looks at the other lobster and says, Man, it is really getting hot in here. And then the other lobster looks back at him and says, Oh my god, you're a talking lobster. Dude, that joke is weak. What, do you have a better one? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can handle it. What do you mean I can't handle it? Well... Come on, dude, just tell the joke. Fine, I'll tell it. <laughs> Alright, so there's this young couple, and they just had their first baby, and his name is Jeffrey. And, of course, Jeffrey was a cute baby, um, but like all kids, he eventually grew up and had to start kindergarten. And during his first year in kindergarten, he studied really hard, and at the end of the year, he got straight A's. So his parents came to him at the end of the year, and they said, Jeff, we're really proud of you for getting good grades, so we're going to get you a present. What would you like? And Jeff says, I want 99 pink ping pong balls. And his parents are like, that's kind of weird, but okay. So first grade rolls around, he learns to read, and he studies hard still, and again, he gets straight A's. So of course, at the end of the year again, his parents come to him and they say, Jeff, we're going to get you a present because we're proud of you. What would you like? And Jeff says, I want 99 pink ping pong balls. And his parents are like, well, that's weird, you got that last year, but if that's what you really want, that's what we'll get you. So the next year rolls around, and of course, Jeffrey is you know, still in school, second grade now. Um, <clears throat> you know, school's getting a little harder, so and there's a time when his grades aren't, uh, you know, they're not quite as good as he's used to getting. But, of course, he's a smart kid, so he studies hard and brings them up, and at the end of the year, again, he gets straight A's. Nothing but A's. So at the end of the year, his parents say, we're proud of you, and we're going to get you a present again. What would you like? And he says, 99 pink ping pong balls. And his parents are kind of getting a little worried, but they say, fine. So the next year, again, third grade, straight A's. And they say, what do you want? And he says, 99 pink ping pong balls. Fourth grade, same thing. He studies hard. He gets straight A's. And his parents are going to get him a present. And the present he wants, of course, is 99 pink ping pong balls. And the next year, fifth grade, same thing. He studies hard. He gets hundreds, nothing but hundreds and A pluses for Jeffrey. And he gets a present from his parents of 99 pink ping pong balls because that's what he wants. So the next year, sixth grade, same deal. Middle school started. He's getting straight A's. His parents come in and they say, Jeff, what do you want, son? And he wants 99 pink ping pong balls. The next year, he still studies hard in 7th grade. He masters Spanish guitar. Uh, but even with all that, he still manages to get straight A's and hundreds. So his parents come in at the end of the year, and they say, Great. what do you want for a present? And he says, 99 ping ping pong balls. The next year, he's in 8th grade. You know, he's growing up. He's learning to shave and stuff. Uh, but, you know, even with all that, he still gets straight A's. His parents ask him, of course, you know, Jeff, we're really proud of you. What do you think you would like as a present this year? And he says, Give me them balls. And his parents are confused, but they go with it. You know, the next year he's starting high school, he signs up for football, and he makes the team. Um, but even with the extra time needed for practice, he still makes straight A's. Uh, so at the end of the year, his parents say, you know, some are really proud of you. And he says, uh, what would you like as a present? And he's like, Mom, you know what? I really want 99 pink ping pong balls. Great. So 10th grade rolls around, still studies hard, still getting on a good way towards life. Uh, so he is going to get a present, and he gets 99 pink ping pong balls. Junior, he tries out for volleyball. He's still on the football team. But even with all that extra time, he still studies hard and gets straight A's. And his parents are going to get a present, and he wants 99 pink ping pong balls. Ping pong <laughs> balls. Dad, I love you. But that's fine. And then in 12th grade... You know, he gets straight A's, and his parents say, what do you want? And he says, 99 pink ping pong balls. Uh, and they're like, ah, you know, uh, you're graduating, but you're fine. That's what we're going to get you if that's what you really want. So on the way home from his high school graduation, Jeffrey gets into a very bad car accident. And so, you know, he's rushed to the hospital. He's in critical condition. And so his, his mom rushes to the hospital as fast as she can so she can see him. The doctor says, you know, he's not going to make it. Um, so his mom says, you know, Jeffrey, I love you very much, and your dad loves you, and... I just have to know, what did you do with all those ping pong balls? And he's like, Mom, I love you too. Um, but what I did with the ping pong balls was... And then he died. Wait, that was the end of the joke? Yep. Awesome. Ninety-nine ping ping pong. Ball.